welcome it's Tara with another video on things that I like uh, that I've been liking recently so the common theme for this time is a uh, chinoiserie or uh, oriental type of objects um, these are things that I've been loving recently that bring a little bit of beauty and joy into my life um, as you know, I'm a connoisse tea connoisseur, and one of the major teas that I've been drinking recently is this. So this is called Go Bud Mei John, and basically this is from Song Tea in Ceramics. Uh, this is from a place in China called Fujian, and this has lily notes, orange blossom, and tangerine peel. I've been enjoying this so much. So much so, it smells heavenly, like perfume, like lily orange blossom perfume. I love it so much that I went and got this adorable, cute little tea set um, just to drink this tea in. So this is uh, this tea set is made of clay. It's called Yixing clay. And um, yeah, look at how cute this little cup is. Look at how thin it is. It's like so adorable, so adorable. And the thing is, um, I've been drinking only this tea in this cup because the clay is porous. And uh, when the tea, when you steep the tea in this teapot and in this, uh, in this cute little uh, teacup, it retains the scent of the, of the tea, of the notes of the tea, of the fragrance of lily and orange blossom and, and tangerine peel. So look how cute the teapot is. It's so cute and mini. Yeah, so it's this clay teapot with all these things etched into it. It's like a pumpkin lotus flower. And it has a really cute handle like this where two, your two fingers can fit so comfortably. And then it has a really beautiful pouring spout look. Yay! Look how smoothly it pours out. And it's so cute too. I love this color. It's like a orangey reddish brown clay and it's perfect for fall time too. So yeah. <sighs> Look at this cute little. <sighs> it is, this cup is so lovely to drink out of because they make this lip curved and this just like pours the water directly into your mouth. It's so light and so fragile kind of feeling. And it's just, it's just wonderful to hold on to something like this when you're drinking tea. Ah, so dainty. And it makes you feel kind of like dainty and uh, refreshed, you know what I mean? Like refined and just, I don't know, it's just something about this cute little tea set that makes me feel so happy. And so, so it's so pleasurable to drink out of it. Speaking about pleasurable, look at the glaze on this gorgeous tea container. Look at this gorgeous glaze. This is perfect for fall. It's like a tea container. So it just kind of, it's like a metal tea container. It contains a lot of tea actually. And it, uh, but it's made out of ceramics. So basically it's ceramics, but then they put like a metal rim around it uh, to, to, so you can uh, tighten it easier. And this is perfect. It's not really tight. So you have to be careful about like, you know, flipping it over or anything like that, but it still is, holds the tea so well. Look at it. Look at this glaze. It has like um, brownish bronze flecks with this gorgeous red and then it kind of ombres into a like a, a mattish brown I mean mattish black spots on the bottom isn't this gorgeous so this one was one of the I got this off Etsy from a tea uh, tea shop that sells a lot of teas and also sells a lot of um, paraphernalia as well another thing that I've been using with pleasure is this this I didn't even know I needed until just like recently. So this is like a ceramic bamboo shaped uh, tea scoop. So basically you take the tea and then in the bag and the, or whatever container and you just sort of like um, go like this onto here. So the tea leaves fall within this tr the trench and then the raised sides keep it from falling off. And then what you do is, um, 
you either drop the tea into the teapot to to whatever to uh, boil steep or you just take the tea and you put it into these gorgeous tea bags you see how like it tapers in and all the leaves just fall in and without falling off the sides so before I had understood what this was or the concept of this I used to just pick up the I used to either just pour the tea into the tea bags directly which was which was very difficult and then like a third of the tea leaves would fall out on the floor or on the table and stuff and I'd have to pick it up and stuff uh, but now no longer now I figured this out <laughs> so you can get other tea scoops you'd have to get this I just got this because I was feeling fancy uh, there's bamboo ones that are just like nine dollars or something like that but you want to get the ones with the curved sides you don't want to get anything with really shallow sides like this is on the shallower side but I'm really careful when I put it in but if you're gonna be a little bit less ca more casual and more carefree you should get the ones with the higher curved sides uh, to, f to put it in otherwise the tea leaves might fall out on the sides as well Another thing that, another container that I really think is really gorgeous is this. So I have a lot of dark wood furniture at my house and I know dark wood is no longer um, fashionable, but you know, I these are furnitures that were um, inherited from my roommate's mother and she's from Ireland. And uh, since it's an heirloom, these are things that have a lot of sentimental value and there's it's nothing that we want to turf out and replace with some modern uh, wood light wood uh, or marble or anything like that so we just buy stuff that matches the the decor and uh, the dark wood and brings out the richness of the dark wood so another one of that from that I got from the same uh, tea to canister place is this this is a gorgeous ceramic uh, tea holder and it has four little feet i love i really really love this um this gorgeous shape so basically it has a pattern it's like a wood top with a pattern gold pattern of waves and then on the bottom you have this gorgeous scene a peaceful scene uh, of a deer um, in the mountains with a tree on the side and birds flying up high. So this is against a, a dark blue, ombre blue, uh, dark blue, black ombre background. So it's like a peaceful evening scene and, every, and against dark wood, it looks so good. I mean, it really, the gold, the gold bits on this are so delicate done they're not just like a smack you in your face kind of gold and it's not really big but when you put this against like a dark uh, table uh, top or maybe a dresser or armoire or something like that uh, or anything with a dark wood surface it gently glows out this gorgeous dark blue glaze and it looks really beautiful especially in the evening it gives like a peaceful uh, evening feeling to it Okay, uh, and another thing that I got, which is more whimsical, is this. So this is another tea container. It, it's like in the shape of a, what do you call it, fulu gua. So gua means melon, uh, and it's basically a type of melon or calabash, I guess, that or a squash, okay, squash, that grows in, in Africa and Asia. And these are in the, sh in the form of like eights. So it's like an eight shaped like the uh, number eight. And basically what they are used for is uh, they're used uh, for water for, to contain water. So basically you would just poke a hole in it and then you would fill it with water because they're really light. They dry these out and they make them into water containers. So they're like nature's water containers. So you would put like a plug on top to stop the water from like dripping out. And then you can take these as like your you know, olden days water bottles uh, before they had water bottles available uh, made out of plastic and glass. Uh, these were nature's water bottles. So this is in the figure of that um, in Asian, I think in Asian or well, Chinese mythology, uh, kind of Chinese culture, the figure eight is, is supposed to 
uh, is supposed to represent like riches um, and for good fortune, actually. So basically, because this is shaped into eight, it's like an auspicious thing. I just like it because the glaze is this uh, slightly bluish gray sort of pastel glaze against a bronzy brown background. Isn't this beautiful? It, it actually is a tea container, so you can open it up and put tea in here. So it's just like ceramic in there. And they have this cloth or paper thing like over this. And then you put it in like this. And then this top actually opens too. Although I, I'm not gonna open it because it's really tight. And it comes with this cool tassel. So yeah, isn't <laughs> this gorgeous? So this also looks really gorgeous sitting on the counter. It, it's like a, a nice gentle shape and lovely and up, kind of slightly glowing in the dark kind of um, uh, object. Okay, speaking of glowing, check this out. So this is so stunning. When I saw this, uh, I bought this from a consignment store. Um, these people do, this is near my house in San Francisco. So these people do um, estate sales and the, every they're just packed it's like a hoarder's paradise they have like a, st a storeroom in the back and they have the front room and it's just like wall wall to ceiling i mean ground to ceiling of full of goodies and surprises um tons of stuff it's like one of those like antique stores that are just like brimming they're just brimming with everything. And then there's like a surprise in every corner. So I always love to go there to take a look around. I don't always shop there, but um, whenever I see something really cool like this, I know the lady and the lady, uh, if you pay cash, she gives you a good deal. So I got this really gorgeous, like um, I think it's four sides. Is it four sides or is it six sides? I'm always one, two, yeah, it's six. So this is a hexagonal um, box and uh, it's, I don't know if it's plastic or lacquer or whatever, I'm not really an expert, but it doesn't really matter, I guess, because even if it's plastic, which I don't think it is because like, it's still a lot of work. So it's like, looks like mother of pearl looking inlays of this beautiful butterflies and they're all in this gorgeous colors. And it's not just inlaid on top. Uh, each side is also gorgeously inlaid. And then on the bottom, it's, I don't know if it's lacquer or plastic or whatever. It might be either or, but there is actually like a sign. It's been signed or has an insignia stamped on here. So uh, the problem with these antique stores is you really don't know any history about it. And she didn't know anything, but she gave it to me for a um, pretty good price. I would say like 50 or $60. And the inside is equally stunning too. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous inlay. Anyways, yeah. So it's not rough, it's actually smooth. So after they did the inlay, they put some sort of plastic coating or something on, on the top of it. So it's not rough and bumpy. It's, it's perfectly smooth. And then all the sides are also inlaid too. And then this is the, the lid, which is like a dark red. It's a dark reddish brown color. Okay, speaking of red, this is my piece de resistance. And this one I'm really excited to have. And I just got this like two weeks ago, but it's been, I just been marveling at its beauty. So it's this beautiful vase. Um, yeah, I think it might be lacquer. The lady said it was like cinnabar. I think cinnabar is the red lacquer that they use. I'm not sure, it could be plastic for all I know. And you know, which doesn't really matter. Um, so this is the bottom. It's like a ceramic bottom with this gold color rim. And look at this gorgeous pattern. <laughs> It is so intricate. So I think these might be, I don't know, is it camellias maybe? Yeah, it may be camellias. 
and uh but anyways it's in this really gorgeous ornate um asian pattern probably chinese and it has this gorgeous gold rim and also it's ceramic lined like that so i think because it's ceramic lined um it's safe to put water and and uh you know stuff inside but of course i'm not letting water or any any nasty stuff that can uh, deteriorate the outside um, come into contact with it. This is just going to be a vase. I think like this vase is prettier than the flowers that might go into it. So this vase is actually, the design of the vase itself is actually the, you know, the focus, not the flowers. So no flowers going in here. Nope. Look at this. I, I want to really preserve this. And then on the other side, Oh my gosh, this is like even possibly even lovelier because it's like more distinct and less busy than the other side of these lotus or water lilies or whatever you call it. I can't really tell the difference between lotus and water lilies. I think one is bigger than the other and the stems, I mean the flowers are spikier in one and more uh, oval shaped than, than the other, I guess. They all look, kind of look similar to me. I know they're different uh, plants. So anyways, this is the gorgeous gorgeous work on this. So this I got $50 cash. Oh my gosh. Yes, exactly. So I mean, the thing is, even if it was not lacquer, which is highly desirable and very expensive, because I think it's like, might be have to be handmade and ha made in specific circumstances, because lacquer is a uh, cinnabar is actually poisonous, I think, to make. And uh, it requires like, and not anybody, Tom, Dick, and Harry can slap one together. You know what I mean? You have to get the mix right. Uh, so it's it, it, it's in this specific thing. And then just the design alone is really gorgeous. I don't care if they made it out of a cast. The, they made, or a mold. The mold in the, or the cast is well done. Bravo to you, whoever made this. And yay to me, since I snatched this up for 50 bucks. Check it out. Yeah, so this is looking stunning against like a dark wood uh, background. And it at night, it kind of like glows <laughs> against the walls. It glows in this like exotic type of um, mysterious oriental way. You know what I mean? And then you can just pretend like you're in the uh, Oriental Express or in some sort of bygone era uh, where people are are very aesthetic. They're wearing aesthetically pleasing silk clothes and, you know, the olden days that probably never happened, but it's just like your fantasy. <laughs> so anyways, I get carried away like that because I'm stuck at home and I'm bored. So these little things just kind of like break up the tedium of my same old room, same old four walls, you know what I mean? So it gives it something pleasurable to watch and some nice heirloom to pass on. To the kids if if it's real but even if it wasn't i mean it was still beautiful well hope you enjoyed the video today and i'm gonna take another sniff of this and another sip of this delicious tea have a good morning thank you bye